So you're on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, maybe watching a video on a third party application, and just when it's about to get to a good bit, all of a sudden your Fire Stick decides to go to sleep. Now, there's many reasons why somebody would want to disable their Fire Stick from going to sleep. Maybe you're using your Fire Stick for a digital sign or digital signage. Maybe you like watching a video on a loop, or maybe you just hate restarting applications, which you have to do every time your Fire Stick decides to go to sleep. So how can we prevent it? There's actually two very easy methods that you can follow, which will prevent your Fire Stick from sleeping ever again. Now, the first thing you want to do is go over to your settings. Let's click on that. Go to My Fire TV. Let's click on that. Click on developer options and make sure you've enabled ADB debugging because the first option I'm going to demonstrate requires you to have ADB debugging enabled. Once you've confirmed that, we're now going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can always type in this short code, which is 53402 and click on go and this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines. Let's click on that. Click on tutorials and the tutorial near the top will be how you can disable your Fire Stick or Fire TV from going to sleep. Let's open that up. Here we are. So how to prevent your Fire Stick or Fire TV going to sleep. We have the step-by-step -step instructions here. Now, as I mentioned before, there are two ways of doing this. I personally prefer the first method, which I just find a bit more cleaner and I've done it on my device for many, many weeks and it definitely works. The other method is um, also works, but is a bit uh, limited in terms of control because it's more or less installing an application and the application is just designed to force your device to stay awake. So you can't customize any timers or change any settings. Literally just download this application, open it up. And from that point forward, your Amazon Fire TV, Fire TV stick, Fire TV Cube will now be prevented from going to sleep. So of course the option is up to you, but let me just show you the first option, which is using Remote ADB Shell and typing in this one command here. Now to get the latest version of Remote ADB Shell, let's click on this link here. I've got it already installed on my device, but let me just show you the process. You click on the link, you scroll down and you click on this green download button and this will download the latest version directly onto your device. Let's go back. Let's also get the other software, which is called Stay Alive. Let's get that as well. So again, right at the bottom, we have Stay Alive. Let's click on that and click on the green download button. And this will download the latest version directly onto your device. So you've downloaded two bits of software. Both are under a meg, so they're not very big at all. Let's click on Install. I mean, this ap application is actually designed for phones and tablets. I mean, it does work on the Amazon devices, the Fire TVs, Fire TV sticks, as well as Android TVs. But when I open up the app in just a second, you'll see what I mean. Okay, let's click on done. So two applications downloaded. Let's now press the home key and let's start the remote ADB shell for the first time, which is this one over here. Let's click on that. It's a great application, an easy way for you to send ADB commands to your device directly on your device without using another computer or using your phone. All of that can be done directly on your device. Let's click on connect. Now, the first time you do this, you will see a prompt like this asking you, do you authorize this application to make an ADB connection? And of course, it presumes that you have already enabled ADB. You can now click on always allow and click on OK. Now, depending on your device, you may see Mantis, mine says Gazelle, you may see Cara. These are all code names for the different Fire TV products. Okay, so we've now made a connection. Let's now quickly type in this simple one line command, which is just settings space put. So that's P U T space. And then we're going to type in the word secure, secure. So settings put secure. Then we have sleep timeout with an underscore. So, and basically after this, you're supposed to put a number in milliseconds. In fact, I can actually demonstrate. So let's just do a space. And for a quick test, let's just do 10 milliseconds, which should really be one second. So let's just try that. So 10 milliseconds, click on run. 
Let's press back. We get no error messages. Now, if I don't touch my remote for the next few seconds, let's see what happens. My device goes to sleep, guys. So look at that. So literally in real time, you can see because of that setting now, my device is literally sleeping in one second or one second of inactivity. If I touch my device again, let's press the button. I should wake up from sleep. So we know that command is definitely working. Let's open up remote ADB shell again. Now, the great thing with this is any commands that you previously typed in, if you just press down on the remote, so you can see the bottom line is now selected like that. Let's now long press the select button and you can then see all previous commands that you've typed in. So I can press the select button now and I'll automatically type in that last command. Because we're looking to disable that screensaver, I'm gonna change the 10. Let's delete that out and set that to zero, which means that if I'm watching something, if I'm watching a third party application, I'm watching a video screensaver, I'm watching, maybe I'm using my Fire Stick for a wall display, wherever my use case is, as soon as I click on run now, as I've done, this is now basically going to prevent my device from ever going to sleep again. And the only way the device is going to sleep now is if I long press the home button and manually select the option to sleep. Now the other method, which again, I don't particularly like, but for somebody that doesn't want to type in commands or use remote ADB shell, the other option is to start this application, which is called stay alive. Looks a bit weird. And like I said before, it's designed for tablets and for phones, but I can open this application. We get a message like this. I can press down a few times. Click on okay. And that's it guys. So now you think nothing's actually happened, but if you open the application again, and if you see this, this just confirms that now your device will actually always stay awake. We can see the default option is keep the screen on while charging and on battery, which of course doesn't apply to us with our Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. But as long as the application is selected, that means now when I press the home key, from this point forward now, because of the Stay Alive application, my Fire Stick, my Fire TV, my Fire TV Cube will now no longer go to sleep, which means nothing will be interrupted if I leave something open when I get back to my device, even after two days, exactly where I left off is what I'll see on the screen again. And again, if you are using your Fire Stick for digital signage or if you, or maybe you use the Fire Stick for video screen savers or anything like that, which, which again requires your device not to go to sleep, with these two options I've demonstrated today, your device will always stay awake. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.